Hi everyone, I'm Lene Gehrig and I'm here today with my cameraman Houston and we just want to welcome you to Paper Wishes Weekly Webisodes where today we're really excited to bring you this wonderful hunky dory kit called Written in the Stars. So come play with us. As I said, super excited to show you what's in this kit. Um, one thing I really love about Hunky Dory is the idea sheet that they give you on the top of every kit. And it's just loaded with all kinds of card ideas. Um, I use it as my inspiration when I'm looking at ideas to do for webisodes. Um, I love how they do their layering, how they do oversized cards. Um, we don't do too much of that in America. And I love, you know, we like them to be very mailable and have a an envelope with them. Um, it's really easy to make an envelope to fit your card, so um, I love that they kind of think out of the box and do them in different sizes. Um, this particular kit, which is, I said, Written in the Stars Luxury Topper Collection, has um, 110 uh, gold foil die cuts. And what's really great about them is you, that you're getting eight different, you're getting eight sheets, but you're getting two of each kind. So, for example, you're getting this you know, sort of a constellation theme here with flaming. are these flamingos? What do you think, Houston, are those flamingos? Storks, flamingos, some kind of bird with long legs. Um, and also butterflies, I think that's really beautiful, but you're getting two of these. So you don't have to choose your favorite image and save it for your, your very favorite card. You can do two of them. Oh, and here's another one. I love this particular color scheme. And notice all the beautiful gold, gold foiling on these die cuts. And of course, in typical hunky dory fashion, they come with these beautiful nested frames as well. Um, we've got, looks like an owl and a bird. Beautiful, two of those. And okay, this could be a deer, an elk. I'm not sure which. Today I'm getting tested on my animal things. So this one, what do you think that is, Houston? That could be a fox. It could be a raccoon. Fox? We're going with fox. Okay. And, oh, this one, look at this color scheme on this one. It's so beautiful with the family of elephants and the bear. Really cute. And two of those. All right, and then let's get to our beautiful, adorable, scorable cardstock. So you get two of each of these sheets. I love the elephant borders and the foiling up here with these shooting stars. It's gorgeous. Okay, here are those birds again, whatever kind of birds they are. Beautiful pink with the foiling. And oh, these are beautiful stars. I just love this with this. It kind of goes from red into the blues and greens and into this black. I love the corner embellishment here, two of those. Okay, here's our little critter down here with all these beautiful um, foil stars, beautiful colors. Two of each of these with the beautiful star borders. Now this particular one doesn't have any foiling on it, but once, you, once again, you can see it's just really beautiful. I love these colors. It's just gorgeous. Oh, and look at this background. Wow. Looks like you've got, you know, some like a water here and the stars here, and it's just gorgeous. And the butterflies. Really, really beautiful. So you've got the foiled um, car, uh, adorable, storable card, adorable, scorable cardstock, as well as the non foiled cardstock, which is equally beautiful. So let's take a look at the cards that we've got here. Okay, I made this one. Here we go. Yeah, using um, the contents of the kit, but then I also added some um, borders, and these are the fancy border dazzles, and they come in all finishes in one package. Great to add to your um, hunky dory cards. I think they're really beautiful. And then also, this beautiful um, Miri pad with the glittering galaxies. I also added to the bottom of my card and you can see here beautiful, beautiful colors just in a rainbow with all these beautiful stars and just a gorgeous finish on those. So what I did was I did, did a little bit of a cutaway at the bottom of my card and then on the front covered my blank card with 
the adorable scorbel foiled, add some borders, added a couple of die cuts here. Um, also in the corner here, if you can see, I added some sparklets and this particular one are crystal stars, which I just love and give a little dimension here. And I love using the Cosmic Shimmer glue with a little pointy tip to just uh, glue down all my little sparklets. It makes that so much easier. Um, and uh, then on the inside of my card, I just took a little bit of the Glittering Galaxies from the Miri pad and just added a little strip of that down here with a border and uh, just a little foam tape here so that when you close it, you don't see the edge of that little foam tape greeting. But that one was a really fun one to do. Here's one that Debbie did, which I just love. She did an easel card, which are always fun, so that when you prop it up, it just stands right like that, and it stands behind this foam taped greeting on the inside. So you can just prop it right up like that. Oops, there we go. And we can see it like that. So that would just be really a fun little display for somebody to get on their birthday. And when Debbie made this, she made it out of the adorable scorable. She scored the back of it here so that it can fold. And then she scored another piece from the Glittering Galaxies, which as I said, is a great companion to this particular kit. And she glued those pieces together to form her card, which I thought was really, really fun. There we go. So I'm actually gonna build a card for you today to show you the process and just how easy it is if you've never worked with Hunky Dory before. Okay, so I've got the elephants here, which I just love, I mentioned that. And I'm gonna grab my other pieces. All right, so I, chose to use some of the Glittering Galaxies Miri paper here, cardstock rather, and I just chose this green one. There we go, that green one, okay. And I cut out, this is a six and a half by five and a half inch card, so I cut, probably cut out about a um, six and a quarter by four and three quarters inch piece. We'll start with that. And then what I wanted to do is I wanted to use as much of this um, piece of cardstock as I could, but I wanted to really feature these elephants. So really, if you've used your sheet of die cuts, okay, and once you have used some of your focal pieces, I wanted to experiment, like what would you have left? So let's just take this one, for example. And if I used these pieces right here on cards, because they're the obvious pieces to use. There we go, punch these out. Okay, so I use those. What have I got left here that I can make another card with? And these are the things when I'm dealing with Hunky Dory that I usually have a lot of extra greetings and things with. So that's what we're focusing on today. So went ahead and I cut out part of the border here. And I can just glue that right across the center of the card. Okay, like that. And then I'll take this large greeting, which I thought was love, and it says, but I promise you this, I'll always look out for you. That's what I'll do. I thought that was really wonderful sentiment. Okay, and then this last small greeting right here, okay? And then I would go ahead and I would add a little bow right here, and then you're all done. So it's, oh, in fact, I have my bow right here. I forgot I brought that with me. Put that right here and then your card is done. And that's just sort of using all the leftover pieces that you might have on a hunky-dory die cut sheet, okay? So that's all I have for you today. Thanks for joining me. Be sure to pick up these kits while they're available and have a great day.